I have been talking about either education or work experience in order to qualify for the diversity visa lottery application and being given the visa. So for people who don't have high school education, if you win the DV lottery, you will need to prove that you have a qualifying, listen to me very careful, the key word is qualifying work experience of two years at least in the past five years. That is what you need to have. But the very interesting fact is this one. When you are applying for the diversity visa, there is no any place in the visa form or in the application form when you are applying for the diversity visa lottery, which says how many years of experience do you have or what is your current job position, there is no that place. There is only education indication, primary, uh, high school no diploma, high school three diploma, uh, vocational, some university, university, some graduate, graduate, whatever, masters, some doctorate, you put in the level of education, but there is no any place you will indicate the level or how many years of work experience or whatever position you have. So when you win, you have to clearly show that in a, whatever work experience you have, you have at least two years of training. Like you went for the vocational education. You have two years of training before you start that particular job. Or you have on-job training of at least two years. That's number one. But two, they are going to look about the magnitude of your work. So for instance, you went up to level of education, not high school, junior high school. Then you went for the vocational education, let's say, <clears throat> to become a chef, culinary specialist. You went to the culinary school. But after finishing your education, chef, where do you cook? Do you cook at your home? Or do you cook at a five-star hotel? Are you a supervisor? Or just a normal person, just cleaning and cooking? So the level also you are doing the title the level the magnitude the supervision those will be adding to the point there is a website which is uh under the department of labor you can go there and put any job mechanic there's a mechanic a senior mechanic senior auto mechanic so if you put your job there the title of the job will be able to give you uh what does that one fall there is the indication there are points uh zero one two three four whatever so you're supposed to have at least seven and the above to be able to qualify so that's why i say not every job position qualifies you to be given the visa so what do i advise you to do even without the presence of diversity visa lottery you need to start volunteering when we say work experience, it doesn't matter whether it is paid work experience or unpaid work experience. So whether you are doing internship somewhere, whether you are doing volunteering somewhere, whether you are doing for paid somewhere, include all those work experience. Assume you're just writing a resume. And when you win, you need to have a proof of what you are saying. You need to have a proof that you have that work experience do you have a contract from the company you are saying you are working with do you can you bring a letter from your supervisor or the owner or the manager that ebm ernest boniface maculillo has been working with our company for the past six years he has this work experience this is the position this is what he's doing and this is what we uh, the level of supervision the person has so you have to indicate the supervisor the manager the owner the company has to give you some documentation just like that or you need to come also with the contract to prove that this is your job description and this is the nature of the contract because if you say you have a degree you have to go with a transcript so if you say you work somewhere you have this work experience Go with the evidence, evidence to prove that you have that one. Those will be able to help you to be given the visa. So if you don't have an ed education qualified of high school, you need to have two years of qualifying work experience. So start doing something, whether for free, whether for payment.
you will come to thank me later when you go to the interview and get your green card without any problem.